What's going on everybody? Paul Dolan here from Almost Perfect Productions. Decided to try something new. This is game one of the NBA Finals and I do, I'm doing something called Play by Paul. Uh, it's a little bit of play by play, a little bit of commentary during the game and just thoughts on the game as they're occurring. Let me know what you think and I've got the fourth quarter also set up so you know, positive feedback, maybe I'll release it. Uh, let me know and enjoy. Chris Paul's ankle looks fine. Ooh! I hope the mic picked that up, man. And that happened earlier it was when Cameron Johnson made a right corner three. I said that that was going to happen. Kel Bridges is my man. Uh, it happened earlier when I uh, said that Cameron Johnson... He loves his right corner three specifically, and I said that in my podcast earlier, which I released just before starting these videos. Uh, go check it out on applepodcast.com. It's called the Almost Perfect Podcast. Oh, great pass. Oh, you got to finish up with eight and underneath. Phoenix up 13, 70 to 57. Just under eight minutes left in the third. Middleton a triple. Short. Tucker hustles down and knocks over. Almost knocked over the Milwaukee Gatorade. That would have been 150 gold. Right now, Phoenix in control. And not only are they in control, they've got 70 points with 743 left in the third. Huge detail. If they score over 90, which it looks like they will easily do, by the end of this quarter, just wrap it up because it's over. Aiton, I gotta say, looks very focused. I wasn't sure about his demeanor early on. His pregame interview was shaky. He he clearly looked like a kid in a candy store. He was like, I don't know if this is for me, if I'm just here, if I'm even able to touch anything, if I'm even a part of it. Like he was clearly lighthearted with it, and I mean I respect that. I understand. But then when you're being lighthearted about it before the game starts, it's just interesting to think of how Lopez a triple puts it in. Brooke Lopez shrinking the lead now down to 12, 60 to 72. 17 points for Lopez, 7 of 13 from the field, 3 of 4 from deep. Booker coming off the down screen, knocks down the elbow, jump shot, and one. Oh. Never mind. That's why I'm not a play-by-play -play broadcaster yet. Emphasis on yet. Just wait. Drew. Relentless to the rim. Lays it in with the left hand. Pushing Aiton all around. This is the finals I wanted. Even though it's a 12-point game, it does not feel like a 12-point game at all. It feels like Milwaukee's like a two-minute run uh, away from being in this. That's off his leg. Yep. Hope the mic picked that one up too. Let me give this preliminary word, and I didn't say this before, but AJ Black Ken, I'm calling you out right here. AJ Black Ken, I'm calling you out right here. And I want a response. I need the response. The people want the response. If Chris Paul gets a ring, will the Chris Paul hate stop? Next move is yours, AJ. Ooh. This guy, this guy just did the entire Milwaukee Bucks dirty. Nice shot. Something I, w I was actually worried about. Let's go! Something I was seriously worried about was whether or not Chris Paul was going to be too tight 
in this first game. I knew he would loosen up eventually. But you can see this man is loosey-goosey now. Oh, nice pass. And now that they've got Chris Paul rolling, the entire offense is going to be a breeze for at least the rest of this quarter. Uh, uh. Bobby Portis, stop it. Do better. The MVP right there. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Sixty-eight, eighty-six. They reversed him. Ooh, he dropped him. He dropped Tory Craig. <laughs> he dropped Tory Craig, the man who's getting the ring no matter what. I don't want to hear anything about rigged elections other than Tory Craig. Tory Craig rigged the jewelry. I don't want to hear anything about any rigged elections. I want to talk about rigged jewelry. Tory Craig played on Milwaukee earlier this season, traded to Phoenix. He gets a ring no matter what. What a legend. Shout out to AG. He's actually the person who, uh, who showed me that. Uh, the people that like I consider close friends and everything, it's normally pretty hard to surprise me with NBA news, let alone like sports news in general. It's kind of part of my job, even. I mean, honestly, ninety to seventy. And I, I'm pretty sure ninety was the number that I said. I don't know if it was like ninety or ninety-four, but it's over. I mean, this is over now. If I'm being honest, this is over. that three was huge. Even though it's only three points, that three was huge. You could cut this to a fourteen-point game. Next possession. Booker. Six to shoot. Guarded by Portis. Drives left. Step back. Puts it in. Devin Booker. Taking over without Chris Paul in the game. Oh, he gave it right back to Giannis. And Payne ripped it from him. Booker finds Johnson, right corner. Ah, oh, I wanted that triple so bad. That was that was his side. Ah, oh, I wanted that so bad. Damn it. I wanted that so bad. Booker, a three. Short. Paying the rebound. Johnson, the triple. No redemption. Giannis. And they will reset with Middleton at the Valley logo. Two second difference, shot clock, game clock. Six on the shot clock. Middleton, he's gonna have to go. Three to shoot, pulls the triple, puts it in. Chris Middleton again, 75-92. Two seconds left. They give it to Booker. That man almost made a one-handed baseball throw from beyond half court to, and put it in. He almost did. Just barely missed. Just short. I'm getting into it. Uh, fourth quarter coming at you right after this.